I'm Chris Berman. We've got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Ravens come away with a seven-point win. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. This week had some big injuries, and we'll get to all of them, but we're going to start right here. Tony Brackens sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. X-rays confirming the original diagnosis, it's a broken ankle, and that'll keep him out for 11 weeks. On to the serious news of the week. Peter Warwick will miss the remainder of the year, and this is a big blow to this passing game because he was obviously a main target. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. Josh Reed had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Steelers pick up their first win of the year. Sean Alexander rushed for over 50 yards and helped his Seahawks beat the Jaguars. Down in the sunny skies of Arizona, we had the Cardinals stroll away with a 14-point win. Colts, Chargers. Edgerin James is in the backfield at the 37-yard line, gets the pitch, spins right there, whoop! And then at the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown! The Colts win this one by the final score of 23 to 20. Up at Invesco Field at Mile High, we had the Broncos barn burn their way to a 24-point win. The Patriots' defense held their opponents to under 100 rushing yards in their win at Gillette Stadium. The Eagles won at home and will stay home for next week's game when they meet the Chiefs. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? Dave Deal will be on the move. You see it there. He'll be getting a nice little payday, too. Five years, $3.2 million. Joe Burns will also have a new address for a while as he signs a four-year contract with the Eagles. Donnie Abraham had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Trent Green passed for 150 yards plus and helped his Chiefs beat the Titans. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Panthers pick up their third win of the season. In the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., we had the Redskins get sent home with a 14-point loss. And last but not least, we had the Dolphins come away victorious. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.